It's taken me a while to release this video because this is something that I never thought would happen. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tekkaichi 4, or maybe Dragon Ball Super Budokai Tekkaichi, is coming. We don't know when, we don't have a release date, and every content creator who covers Dragon Ball has already made probably four or five videos because they're trying to get into the algorithm to you know be a part of this, all right? I just didn't want to make a video that I just didn't have any substance with. Again, no coming at those guys because they're just excited, all right? Don't, don't attack any of these content creators, please. They're just very excited about something that came from our childhood, all right? Dra the last time Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tekkaichi 3 came, I was like in like the early 2000s, all right? I am 26 years old, <laughs> okay? So, and there's also people with gatekeepers saying that if you're not around this age, don't be talking about it. Like, again, this is bringing out the childlike behavior in a lot of grown-ass men or grown-ass women. So. Forgive all of us, all right? And I've asked a lot of my community a community, how they would want Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 4 to be. And now at this point, I'm just gonna say BT, uh, BT, <laughs> BT4 or something, or just Tenkaichi because that's a long ass name to say. Originally, it was called Sparking in Japan or something. So, Dragon Ball Super, or Dra uh, Budokai Tenkaichi 4 has a lot of hype to go along with it, okay? And a lot of my fan base have been throwing out some ideas, and I got my own, but Firstly, I just want to throw out some ideas because, again, there's no way we can do this. It's a lot. There's a lot to live up to, all right? People need to understand this is that Raging Blast, Raging Blast 1 and 2, are in the same realm as Tekaichi, all right? Even though they're not counting uh, Raging Blast and Ultimate Tekaichi, but they're, they're pretty much the same thing from the cutscenes, from the animations. All those things are a part of it, right? And a big part of me hopes that they simplify Tekaichi 3's gameplay a little bit, not all the way, but a little bit to Raging Blast 2 style because people remember the broken sticks, okay, from the amount of buttons you gotta push, okay? I would say keep the pacing of Tekaichi 3's combat, but give a little bit of the nuance and a little bit of flexibility of Raging Blast 2. Um, in terms of like being able to do supers through the stick, different things like that. From the story mode, I would definitely love to return uh, traveling through the skies like Tekaichi 2 and having a little bit better cutscenes like in Tekaichi 2 in Raging Blast 1. Um, I would love to have the what ifs of Raging Blast 1. From like you having like Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta or Super Saiyan 3 Broly and things like that. Or I would really hope they don't have created characters like Ultimate Tika Aichi. I'm sorry, I would say keep the created characters for Xenoverse, okay? And just kind of keep to having very anime accurate super moves and animations, just over the top stuff. I would definitely say not really worry about balance. Of course, I would like to have them have that gauge where it controls like when you power up, it uses a gauge for either like going to use an ultimate or using like wild sense or after image. I think that was a good balance there. I just say have it to a point where it's like power scaling, but don't get to a point where it's like Xenoverse 2 where you can just like one shot someone just going through like, like, a, like a burst limit into an ultimate and it takes out 100% of your health. I don't want none of that crazy stuff, right? Now for the roster, I would say like even though I made I made just a video talking about GT, but like don't get rid of GT, all right? I would say like try to keep about 80% or like try to keep around 70% of the original the cast and just add a, a crap to the Dragon Ball Super characters and maybe even add some what ifs too. But before we go into that, I want to talk about this tier list I found that might give you a better idea who I think is the most important characters to bring into um Budokai Tekkaichi 4. Okay, so I want you to look at this tier list, right? And this is created by by uh, Veku, a lot of numbers. <laughs> so check out his, uh, check out whatever he's doing on Twitter. But this is a list of a lot of characters that can be in Budokai Tekkaichi 4, right? Now, with, they're separated from like, you know, specials, things like that. I wish they had Dragon Ball Heroes in there because I do want Dragon Ball Heroes because again, I want them to go wacky with this and just have characters we've ever seen before and like, what is, like, I don't know, like, and hopefully maybe we can get Dragon Ball Super manga characters, but I want to just point out from each franchise what characters need to be in here. Of course, I'm not going to list all of them because there's some characters obvious. Like, we already know that Super Saiyan Blue Goku is going to be in, right? But I'm just going to put characters that, like, we, we need to be in there for this to be a good roster. And it shouldn't be long. Like, of course, I think everyone agrees that you need Ultra Instinct Goku in the list. You, you just do, right? He's the most popular form in Dragon Ball. My like current Dragon Ball right now, but in Dragon Ball Super, of course, Super Saiyan is the most popular. But you get what I'm saying. Uh, for GT, obviously you need, because even even fighters kind of ignore this, but you need Gogeta 4, of course, but you definitely need, more than that, you need Super Saiyan 4 Goku. He is the most popular character in GT. He He's the only thing that keeps uh, GT selling. I'm going to put that here. Yeah, you need that, right? Um, and also you need Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. You need this. Have all three of the Super Saiyan 4s, okay? Not just have one of them 
or anything like that. We because Ultimate Tech actually did the same thing when they had Gogeta four. It didn't bring in these two. Please bring in those two, okay? Um, you need Blue Kaioken, of course. With Dragon Ball, of course, mostly all you need is like Kid Goku more than anything. But um, again, I, I, when you have Super Saiyan Blue Goku, you're going to have Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. But you need Blue Evolved, all right? I think you do. And listen, we had certain sources like Jump Force bring in manga um, full tr a true Bankai Ichigo, right? Just I would say, just just the hype of the fans, bring in Ultra Ego Vegeta. That would sell the game by a lot. Okay, you can try to do some cool animations from the manga, so just just please just bring in Ultra Ego Vegeta. I think that'd be extremely high. But of course, if you have Super Saiyan Blue, you gotta have Super Saiyan God. So this would just put them in here just because, okay? Like we all know that you're gonna have these in here. But yeah, just have Super Saiyan God, Goku, and Vegeta. Like people love that, right? Again, have the entire Z cast, but we need a Super Saiyan Rage trunks. We just do. Okay. People been asking for this for a very long time. And again, I I think that's very well needed, man. Of course, these are very well, you know, but then we need a Gohan Beast. We're still waiting for a Gohan Beast of Xenoverse 2, which I get, I'm assuming we're going to get. If they don't, Xenoverse 2 has blown the bag just as Dokkan did. But yeah, we need Gohan Beast, all right? You need these holy trilogy right here of, of new forms here. Of course, Gogeta Blue need that. Vegeta Blue need that, right? You got you to have those. Broly, especially DBS Broly. You definitely need DBS, bro. Like, that movie is still iconic to this day. Orange Piccolo. You need you, you need Orange Piccolo for this list. Come on now. Um, what else do we need here? What else do we need here? Um, like, 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 again, I'm only talking about very hype characters that I know will sell the game, right? Of course, you need Golden... Well, I'm not going to lie. I don't think this is very needed. This can be, like, uh, just... I don't know. Like, I, again, you can be mad at me all you want to. There. How did I? How did I do this? Okay. Like, oh my god. <laughs> Forgive me. I always have trouble. It. If you got Black Frieza in there, I'm not gonna lie. This game would sell a lot. Okay. There you go. That's how you get it done faster. But they Black Frieza. But of course, I think having having Golden Frieza in there would sell. Come on, Golden Frieza. And. I think, like, even having this as, like, DLC would be cool, but try to have a big amount of the characters not be DLC, because I know that's, like, a big amount of people's fears. Also, have some characters like this. I know Legic wasn't in GT, uh, wasn't in Tegaiji 3, but have me in there, man. I, I think that'd be really cool. Cell Max, of course, like, having, like, because Tegaiji is the only one where you had, like, playable giant characters. Cell Max would be definitely hyped to have in here. Even characters, like... Because we got Tarble, but we never got, like, the villain of that little special there. I think that'd be really cool. Um, what else that we didn't get in there? Did we have Rildo in um, in Tech IG 3 I don't even remember. But, yeah, having Rildo would be really cool. Just characters that we haven't had before, of course. Um, no matter how you look at it, we would love to have Khalifa. Like, or Kefla. Khalifa and Kefla definitely should be in the game. Uh, from all these these universe six sayings and stuff, Jiren needs to be in the game, especially full power Jiren. Come on, Jiren. He puts like no matter how you feel about the character, he puts the numbers in. Like even with GT characters, like Goku Junior, I think would be a great character just to kind of have as like a new character in. Um, what else? Of course, like if you want to have the but I think what really will sell the most really out of these these um, Dragon Ball Super villains in here will also be Moro. Like, just having Moro in there. A lot of people even, like, like kind of give any hype because he went Super Saiyan Blue in there. So, I think that'd be really cool to have. Um, of course, you need Omega Shinron, the final villain in, in Dragon Ball uh, Dragon Ball GT. Of course, you might could put Baby and stuff. But, you know, just, just ideas I'm throwing out there. Of course, definitely bring back Hatchiak from, uh, from Raging Blast 2. Please. I think Hatchiak deserves to be back. <laughs> okay? He's barely in any video games. Um... Okay, like you can you can pretty much just say that for all these characters. There's a lot of fodder characters from like the Pride Troopers and stuff, but um, of course you got all the Z staples and everything. But I don't know, just some ideas of like characters that like are extremely hype, or I guess these are just movie special characters. Like I, I feel like of course bring almost every character from Z in. But um, now let's get to the character. Uh, give me uh, get to some of the um, 
advice that my subscribers have listed down below. So Monkey J. Luffy said, This will probably be impossible, but I would love to have the greatest hits of the music from the previous games, Lost Courage from Ultimate Tsukaichi. Um, I think that'd be really good. Yeah, and I have like different soundtracks, but granted, they're only counting Budokai Tsukaichi 1 through 3. So I would hope, but there's a lot of music from Raging Blast. Too bad from Yamamoto got caught. That a lot of music is not going to be used anymore. But we got Ali saying, uh, Ali saying that greatest what ifs, like great what ifs. I love what ifs from Tsukaichi 2 and 3. Also, different types of tournaments um, that were in Tsukaichi 3, like maybe like a, a tournament of power. Uh, the most obvious, do not change uh, control. Do not change the controls. I don't. I don't know. I feel like changing controls a little bit because I think people don't understand how many buttons you gotta push to play Tigaichi, man. Like I kind of prefer Raging Blast's to simplicity, but that's just me. And a lot of people get triggered by that. And a lot of people don't like to act acknowledge Raging Blast's existence for some reason. So um, here's Johnny says Chi Chi's commentary. I think that was really good. Yeah. Um, unique character interactions. Of course, you need that from cutscenes to battle damage. I think you definitely need that. Um, Red Batara characters, I think that's a good staple. Online play, online tournaments, yeah, yeah. I press especially have like um you can watch other people battle, like in everything, like a spectator mode. You definitely need that. They even had that Rage of Blast 1 and 2. Don't get rid of it like they did in Storm 4 for for a long time. Um, team battles, um a story mode, of course, cinematic cutscenes, like like Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, yeah, yeah. Also with Final Flash, because they didn't put that in there. Free DLC rather than paid, that's a lot to ask. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, they need day money, especially to bring like a game that's like a decade plus old series. I, that's gonna be hard to argue. Dragon Ball Super content, you need that. Of course, keep all the characters from Z, GT, all that stuff, of course, yeah. Um, now Shane, he went in for a very long, I'm not gonna read all of this, but a bigger character roster, that's a lot to ask, but we'll see. I would just say, for real, just get rid of all the characters that just got full power energy blasts that are not really relevant, okay? You don't need every Frieza soldier in this, okay? You don't need, like, ter like I just feel like there's some characters you just don't need. But people love to argue that they play all those characters when you only play, like, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, the GT characters, the, very, the, the Z characters, and things like that. You didn't play all those characters. Um, uh... If you, if you use an ultimate attack or super attack and misses, it should be a splash damage if you're too close to the explosion effect. I just hope that they keep with Raging Blast did where when you did a rush attack, you can block it. It actually block the attack instead of break your armor. And especially like when you did like a Bardock like shoulder charge, it didn't just break through you regardless of what you did because that's almost broken, okay? I'm, I'm glad that Raging Blast did like nerf some of that stuff. But um, yeah, there's just a lot here. Uh, have default super armor for certain characters. I wouldn't mind they got rid of that. Again, that's just me, but like it's just kind of dumb that you couldn't really beat certain characters because of super armor. But again, this is a power fantasy. So if they did that again, I wouldn't have mind. I'm not gonna lie. It adds to the charm of Tigaichi. Um from XJ uh, XJS plays. First Dragon Ball Super What If scenarios, I agree. Second term in the power mode, yeah. Uh character creation, I don't agree. Story mode with Dragon Ball to Dragon Ball Super. Totally agree. I think they should definitely have Xenoverse 2 slash Raging Blast 1 S cutscenes in there and go into Kakarot levels if they can. Um, Hayden Wallace and Index Q Queen said, I, I, I would see dedicating most of the character bandwidth to fleshing out the cast of Dragon Ball Super. I agree. And leaving behind things like OG Dragon Ball movie characters. I don't agree. I want those characters in. If that's the case, I hope they get Anaraza from Dragon Ball Super. The Trio of the Danger and Dragon Ball Super manga characters. The manga characters is, is a tall ass, but you know what I, I asked for. Um, Universe Six Saiyans from, from Queen. Um, the Trio of the Danger. A lot of people asked for Trio of the Danger and Moro. Uh, Mario Hates You says, I want to see all of Dragon Ball, even Dragon Ball Heroes. Um, this game has more potential um, than Black Freezer, Gohan Beast, and Broly combined. It really does. It really does. And my boy Kindle said, I'm not holding my breath, but you eat Vegeta because he's manga only. And you, and you know, you know, this is the anime games. They never put the manga only manga characters. So I would, yeah, I would definitely say definitely bring in Yui Vegeta. Muggy J. Luffy, Moro, Gaz, Granola, and Tin, Tin Ryuniato said, Gohan Beast, Orange Piccolo, Moro, Gr Granola, Mirrors, Demigra from the Xenoverse games or Heroes. Android 21, hopefully she doesn't break this game like Dragon Ball Fighters and Ultra Ego Vegeta. Those are some notable things I saw. But, you know, 
again, this game has so much it can do. I would just say for fans, when it comes out, it just has every single character, like a Raleigh or something, just give it a chance, okay? Again, if you remember Tick IG 1, it did not come off that great, okay? But again, this has a lot of hype. It is on a better level than Tick IG 1. I'm just saying, if they're doing like a whole new series of games, I would just say give this a chance if it doesn't have all the characters to ever exist. But also my thoughts, characters that need to be of course, some characters, they're going to have everyone from Z. I think that's an obvious, right? And they're going to go way more into Dragon Ball Super because the first form they showed was Super Saiyan Blue. Okay, not Super Saiyan 4 or anything like that. That's how I feel. Hopefully, it's a real story mode. Hopefully, we're flying through the skies like in like Legacy of Goku, Tekkaiji 2, things like that. If you love this video, hit that like button, subscribe, share. Tell me some more Tekkaiji stuff. And thank you for checking out this video because I know everyone's making a Tekkaiji video. Everyone. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sun, to peace. Love you all.